as promised I will explain a bit how to solve the problems the past year's question alright so this is question 6 in line 2 you need to sketch the demand and supply curve and determine the intersection point and get the equilibrium price and quantity well this one okay 6b use a separate diagram explain and illustrate whether the following situation will affect the demand or supply curve so you need to draw a separate diagram for each question the thing is what to draw either supply or demand you need to determine depending on the case given there okay so if you choose to draw the wrong curve meaning that it's wrong lah. okay so uh, this is where you apply the un understanding of what you learn in the uh, upper in the determinants of demand and supply right so here the first question the outbreak of bird flu disease so first of all you need to know that now you are talking about uh, bird flu disease and how to relate it with chicken so what should you draw is first question oh i cannot draw that what should i do okay i'll make it larger so that I have plenty of space there okay so uh, what should you do is for first question one diagram second question also one diagram and for the third question also one diagram okay please make sure you label quantity price quantity price same goes here quantity price so what diagram to be draw it depend on the case here but you will draw about chicken it's either supply of chicken or demand of chicken but it's about chicken the 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 heading for the diagram chicken 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 okay tapi you can think by the case lah alright the first of all is the outbreak of bird flu disease how will uh, it affect chicken so bird flu disease chicken is one uh, apa one category as bird lah so what happened there chicken will die okay less chicken available due to the disease so if no chicken is it affecting the demand of chicken or the supply of chicken some say yes it is the supply of chicken we don't have much chicken now due to the disease so you draw the supply of chicken this is the original one and then when the supply decrease right so it's going here yeah bukan ke bawah sini eh okay so what happened you will make a parallel shift and then this one is ss1 now make sure the shift such as salary because i'm not using ruler here so you draw properly lah pakai pembaris all right so you can see this due to the outbreak the outbreak um less chicken available chicken available so the supply of chicken shifting inward yes this is correct but you can see from another perspective because of the bird flu disease people the buyer are afraid to eat chicken because they are afraid that they will catch the disease also the effect of the disease so most does not prefer to eat chicken so what happened afterward demand of chicken will shift inward okay so you can also 
draw as demand because this case they affect both the demand and supply curve okay but you don't need to draw both sorry this is not demand demand curve is downward sloping okay demand will shift inward so it's original quantity price so the explanation less customer will demand chicken due to this due to the this is so the demand of chicken shifting inward Yes, this is also correct because the first one can affect both the supply or the demand of chicken. So choose one, either one. In the exam, don't waste your time and give both. Just choose one. For six marks, meaning that everyone, every single one here is two marks. So the important is you draw the diagram correctly. You will have one mark. The explanation is one mark. Okay. So for the first one, you can choose either to explain from the demand perspective or the chicken perspective. Alright, the second question is in uh, the increase in the price of chicken feed. Chicken feed is makanan ayam. So, siapa yang memerlukan makanan ayam? It's the seller, right? Because to, in order to sell chicken, dia pelihara dulu kan chicken tu. Okay, so kena bagi makan. So, ada kaitan tu dengan pembeli? The, paper, uh, the buyer need chicken feed Ada of course in real life Orang beli ayam untuk dibela Tapi That one orang kata Rare case Most of us We bought chicken In order to eat the chicken uh, Kita beli chicken yang dah mati kan So we don't need chicken feed So what do you think Will it affect the supply or demand It will affect the supply curve right So you draw the supply curve The original one if the price of chicken feed increase, makanan ayam makin meningkat, is it a burden to the seller? Of course. Now, you want to feed your chicken, you need to extra money because the price of the chicken feed is expensive. Bukan kaki ayam ya? Feed. Okay? So, it relates with the determinants of cost of production. Tengok balik nota. Okay? Cost of production. Alright, so in order to produce chicken, you need to feed the chicken. So the price of chicken feed is the cost of production of producing chicken. So here what happened, because of the cost of production increases, this is a burden to the, uh, to the seller. So the supply will decrease and supply curve shift inward. Okay? Show this shifting. A parallel shift, eh? This one is S1. Okay, so will it affect demand? No, no, no. For the second question, just one. This is the answer. You need to explain it, this in uh, apa? Explain it, your own explanation. Jangan buat anak panah macam saya buat, eh? Okay, because saya tak apalah. So, tak nak tulis main panjang, right? Okay, next is the decrease in the price of beef. Your diagram is about chicken. Sorry, this one you need to label again. Eh? If you decide to answer this one, it will be supply of chicken, your diagram. Yang ni adalah supply of chicken. Kalau you decide yang atas tadi, dia adalah demand of chicken. Okay, so now, you are drawing the diagram about chicken, but... The price mentioned here adalah beef. With that, this is the determinants of the last one, which is the price of related good. This one, price of related good in terms of complementary and substitute. Sebab ia dalam tu dia bagi tahu harga barang yang lain. Your diagram is about chicken. Sebab dia kata suruh draw diagram about chicken. Tapi dalam case tadi dia adalah beef. 
So ini adalah determinants and last kali iaitu price of price of related good. The thing is, price of related good is the determinant of demand and it is also the determinants of supply. Eh, sorry. Uh, it's also the determinants of supply, price of related good. So which one you choose? Either you want to explain on the supply side or the demand side. Okay, first of all, you need to establish the relation between chicken and beef. Is it a complementary goods? Meaning that you must eat together or kalau dari segi seller perspective, you must sell together? No, right? If you sell chicken, it's either you sell chicken or you sell beef. If you are a buyer, either you buy eat beef or eat chicken. You choose one. So, meaning that beef and chicken are... So, you need to explain this, yeah? Beef and chicken are substitute goods. It's not complementary goods, yeah? It's substitute goods. Because it's either one. If you are a buyer, you either buy beef or chicken. If you are a seller, either you sell beef or you sell chicken. Eh, saya nampak ada juga rai uh, yang jual ayam sekali dengan daging. That is a rare case. Sekarang kita tengah belajar pasal teori. Kita assume macam tu, guys. Okay? Jangan fikir rumit-rumit sangat. Alright. So, let's look uh, look at uh, in terms of the demand last night. Eh. Kalau nak cerita dari, dari segi supply, boleh cerita dari segi supply. Saya nak cerita dari segi demand. Okay? This is the original demand curve. Alright. It said here, the price of beef is cheaper. Decrease. So, as a buyer, will you buy beef or you buy chicken? Because beef is cheaper, buyer will buy beef. Cakap benda mesti tak makan beef, saya makan ayam je, mahal pun saya beli. That one is rakis. Okay? So, what should you do is, if the, the price of beef is cheaper, you will buy beef. So, what happened to the demand of chicken? It will shift inward you won't buy chicken because you are buying beef it is a substitute goods okay so here in, in terms of the explanation beef and chicken are substitute goods so if the price of beef decrease buyer will buy beef so, the demand of chicken decrease, causing the demand curve to shift inward to DD1, this one, right? Demand satu. Okay? But if you are uh, explaining in terms of the seller, can also. Boleh. Choose lah. If you are explaining in terms of the seller, you draw the supply of chicken. So your title will be supply of chicken. Sorry, I need to make space here. Alright. Wait. Huh. Okay. Alright. Upward slipping. Quantity, this is price, alright. So, the same happened here. Beef and chicken are substitute. But now you are explaining in terms of the seller perspective. Okay, from seller perspective, they choose either one to sell. So now the diagram is about chicken. It is said here that the price of beef decreased. So, as a seller, will you sell chicken or beef? You tak cakap pun harga chicken, madam? No, kita assume je lah. If they say the price of beef is decreasing, meaning that the price of chicken is much, much expensive. Even though tak logik, guys. Come on. Benda tak, tak logik. Tapi kita belajar teori. So, relax the assumption. Okay? Fikir, fikir, orang kata apa? Fikir simple sahaja. So, easy for you to understand. Okay, guys. So, it said here that the price of beef decrease. So, as a seller, you choose either which one to sell, either beef or chicken. 
so now because the price of beef decreased you cannot get much profit right because the price is cheap so what happened to you you will choose to sell chicken so the supply of chicken will shift out with I think what I'm saying it my 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 drawing. Make sure you draw a parallel shift ya. Yeah? Supply satu. Sebab saya pakai pen sahaja. I'm drawing online eh online pula. I'm drawing or kita apa dekat pakai tab je. Jadinya tak cantik lah. Tapi you boleh draw much better. So here, in terms of the explanation, if the price of beef decrease, seller will choose to sell chicken as selling beef. I do. Selling beef isn't profitable. So, chicken supply of chicken increase causing the supply curve to shift outward to SS1 so draw properly yeah? ok so I'm explaining the, uh, this, this question I think you can try out a uh, more question there we have here the case study in question Question. See, kalau question fifteen is suppose the supply of good tea increases by thirty kg at each price level. So keyword study by kita kat sini supply increases. So if you want to plot this one, of course you can through plot. Bila dah bagi table kan? So what should you do is you need to get new quantity supply in that tambah tiga puluh for every price level. So, 170, 150, 130, do the calculation here. And then you get in the diagram, the demand, supply, supply curve you akan dapat yang baru, SS1 after you plot with this new quantity with the old price. You akan dapat new equilibrium yang baru. Okay, do try. Kalau tak, you tak nampak. Okay. And see, this one is the case study. As the government give subsidies to the durian producer, this is the seller, right? It it will affect the supply curve. Subsidy and tax is the determinants of supply. Subsidy and tax. Kalau you tengok dekat determinant of demand, tak ada. Mana ada subsidies and tax? Tak ada the advertisement. Okay, so mean that subsidy and tax is exclusively for the seller. Okay, the, it is the determinants of supply. Alright, so here in this case, it said that due to the subsidies, the quantity supply increased by 3 kg at every price level. So what should you do is in quantity supply column, you plus 3, you plus 3, you plus 3, you plus 3. Okay, and then you got a new quantity supply. Use this here, plot with here, you're going to put shifting outward with a new equilibrium. And when you got new equilibrium, you will have new price and quantity equilibrium. Do try, please. Okay, for this one also, due to the upgrade technology in producing chenchalo. Here, kalau dia tak bagi tahu supply or demand, this is technology. So, technology is the determinants of? Supply. See, ni determinants of demand ada tak pasal teknologi? Tak ada kan? So, kalau you tengok, 
determinants of supply here technological uh, even though they tak mention curve mana alright so dia tak cakap pun effect demand ke effect supply ke tapi dia tahu production so be careful dia takkan effect dua-dua eh? salah satu so ya yeah, increase by 15 kg so quantity supply you need to plus 15 after you have plot the original one you need to do this because this is the first question plot dulu if you have two customer here customer A and customer B in terms of demand yang buat satu seorang ya uh, tambah dua make sure you dapat market demand and then here yang kat sini you plot with the price then you akan dapat nanti satu demand curve satu supply curve and then dekat case ini barulah supply curve tu akan shifting outward and you will have of course find a new quantity equilibrium and also price equilibrium same goes here you may try please plot or else you tak faham ok let's try a few of the AC question what do you understand with the law of demand law of demand apa when the price of the product increases the quantity demand will go down because buyer is seeking for best value ok if it's expensive they would uh, have a upper optimized use of their money okay so there is law of demand and vice versa please make sure you write it down jangan tulis vice versa saja if the price of the product decreases automatically quantity demand will start to rise so there is the law of demand okay this is the situation here for each of the following situation explain what will happen to the supply or demand so you need to determine if the first case as uh, effect demand or supply if the second case effect demand or supply tapi what should you draw is uh, depending on the uh, the question there female customer love the new design of scarf by farida scarf so you need to draw the scarf it's about scarf but what demand or supply customer keywords there love the new design so this is taste and preference Taste and preference are the determinants of demand. Here, taste and preference. So, what should you draw is adalah demand of Farida scarf. And when they prefer the product, what will happen to the product? It will shift outward. So you need to some sort of explanation. If it's six marks here, meaning that three marks. In terms of diagram, one marks. In terms of explanation, two marks. So explain please about the taste and preference. According to what you learn lah in the class. In terms of explanation, I cannot teach you one by one. If you do the exercise and do constantly, you know how to explain. Government ban the supply of milk from New Zealand. Supply, meaning that you need to draw the supply of milk from New Zealand. Okay, supply is upward slipping, price, quantity. When the government ban, kenapa nak ban? Maybe ada penyakit kuku mulut ke, lembu dia kat sana kan. Untuk mengelakkan datang mudarat kepada people in Malaysia, they decided to ban. So, what happened to the supply of milk in New Zealand, from New Zealand? It will shift inward as S1. And do the explanation, guys. Okay. Explain the three hierarchy of demand according to Islamic perspective, guys. You already, uh, I think I already explained here, right? The Daruriyah, Hajiyah, Kamalia. Okay, so I have the answer for this one, I think. I, I put it here. So please try to explain on your own words first. Okay, basically I have the answer for all types of question there. Ah, uh, here. I think I already explained it in our... Uh, teaching video previously so please try do try okay and define individual demand and market demand so this one we have in our slide okay individual demand is this thing market demand is this thing I won't go through directly that assume the price of wheat increases how will it affect the okay be careful there eh? this is the case study here it's about wheat price of wheat First, dia nak tengok apakah kesan kepada demand roti canai. So, you need to relate wheat and roti canai. Wheat is tepung. How does it relate to roti canai? 
Eh apa benda pula Sebawah ni kan Sorry my bad my mistake Okay Price of wheat how it relates with the demand of rice Saya tengok kat sini tapi saya pergi kat sini So sorry Demand of rice ha, Tepung dan beras Guys Wheat and rice is substitute goods Okay So you choose Either nak makan roti ataupun makan nasi Even in real life You prefer nasi Tapi still in theory We choose depending on the price of the product If wheat is much cheaper We will we will eat wheat But in this case Wheat is expensive The price increases So what happened to the demand of rice You will eat rice Demand will shift outward Do the explanation Okay, this is 10 marks guys, so make sure you explain a lot here in detail because each case is 5 marks. So you must first establish the relationship between wheat and rice. Wheat and rice are substitute goods. So if the price of wheat increase, the buyer will decide to eat more rice. So the demand of rice increase and causing the shifting of the demand curve of rice to the right or shift outward. Okay, I'm not going to uh, to write this one or else I'll give you an, uh, all the answer there. Uh, uh, we don't have any point learning then. Okay, what about roti chana guys? This one I leave it to you so that you can uh, establish the relationship between wheat and roti chana. Please have uh, think of it okay uh, using separate diagram to illustrate your answer so make sure this is the diagram for the first question and the second question you need to draw another one okay all right guys explain the difference between movement along the demand curve and the shift in the demand curve using diagram huh what is this Movement along the demand curve adalah demand curve yang static. Only one demand curve but the point move up or move down. Yang lagi tak from the teaching video. Price quantity. So what is the reason it happens? Price factor. The price of the good itself you learn this okay if you are drawing the demand of pen means that the price factor price of the good itself is when the price of pen change either increase or decrease so you secerita kan if it 10 marks here means that you need to what column lah Ha, macam ni. So kat sini bagi tahu ini adalah movement along the demand curve. Ini adalah shifting of the demand curve. Ha, so show the diagram to show how it is different between the, demand, uh, the shifting and the movement. Kalau movement... The demand curve is static. They don't go anywhere. Just a, a movement upward. Uh, so you need to label this arrow meaning what? Movement upward. Kalau macam ni, movement downward. Make sure you label everything price and quantity here. Uh, well, for this one, price and quantity. Okay. So demand curve, demand zero. Shifting is meaning that uh, the demand curve itself is shifting either outward to D1 or it, it is shifting inward parallel shift eh? D2 ini outward shifting this one is inward shifting so if it's 10 marks here so in terms of drawing you can get 2 marks each 
make sure you label everything make sure you bagi tahu yang mana satu movement yang mana satu movement up yang mana satu movement down yang mana shifting out shifting in careful eh shifting out in movement up down okay all right and then afterwards what should you do is to get another three marks each for 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 each side you need to measure the determinant what is, what what is the determinants inilah price of the good itself ini determinants apa yang menyebabkan shifting we are talking about demand so determinants dia adalah non price factors for example number of buyer to advertisement three um expected future price Fourth, taste and preference. Okay, please list it down. And then what should you do is you need to explain here if the price increase, what happened? If the price decrease, what happened? But mention what types of product there and you must mention here the demand of what? Because here, for example, you what demand of pen, right? Uh, because here you must mention the price of pen. To show the relation between the diagram with your explanation. If the price of pen increase, there will be upper movement movement. This one, I already have this in uh, our notes. It's your task to rewrite it and try to get five marks for each side. So if you mention the determinants, you will have one mark in terms of explanation one, price increase one, explanation price decrease, price decrease another one so plus the diagram two it's five marks here and here even though you mention dia dulu you akan dapat one mark if you mention the determinants and then choose two to explain number of buyer advertisement so number of buyer what happened if number of buyer increase it will cause a shifting outward if number of buyer decrease it will cause a shifting inward and you must buat dua-dua eh vice versa so dapat satu markah kat situ and then you kira pasal advertisement if the product frequently advertised uh, you can shifting out. If the product less advertised, it can shifting in. Uh, so, cheat the both side. You can put another one mark. So, five marks here also. Get ten marks. It's very simple, guys. Okay? So, please do your reading. And here I have the answer also. Ah, uh, here. This is how you get the answer. Okay? Alright. So, I would like to explain here. If you can see here. I put this under the same uh, uh, same question because it's basically the same movement along the demand curve and shift of the demand curve. Okay, so most students boleh bezakan. Tapi bila dia keluar soalan ni, differentiate between change in quantity demand and change in demand. So, apa yang bezakan dia? Ni change in quantity, ada quantity. This one, change in demand. Tak ada, tak ada quantity. So, bear in mind, kalau dia sebut ada quantity macam tu, meaning that the demand curve tak berubah mana-mana. Cuma quantity dia jangan berubah. See? Because of the price increases, the quantity changes here. You need to be very detailed like this. Okay? Also known as the change in quantity demand. Because the demand curve itself is static, just the quantity change. While another one we call as change in demand. Change in demand because the demand curve itself will shift either out or in depending on the cases. That's why this one kita call as change in quant uh, demand. Dia tak ada quantity. Biasa dekat situ je ada quantity yang tak ada quantity. Change in demand means that the demand curve itself if shifting uh, either it shift out or shift in. Okay guys, please try. And then, I don't think we have much fire factor influence demand if they did not mention with the, uh, the shifting or the, 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 the movement, up to you. Okay? Tapi yang yeah, macam ni, you watch it uh, ambil as shifting lah sebab dia bagi tahu dah, nak non price. Okay? Determinants is the the factors that influence the demand lah. Either shifting or uh, apa, movement. Okay? You have plenty of question there. Please try. Alright, so that's it for the teaching video to explain about the, uh, the question, the past year's question. Thank you. I'll see you for the next topic.